Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. As you can see guys, we're going with some MLB 2K13. Boom, boom, let's go. Yeah guys, we're going old school, we're going old school. We got a trade already. The Diamondbacks have presented the Mariners a trade offer. They want to uh, give us Diddy uh, Gregorius, AAA, uh, shortstop, 67 overall, 23 year old, a two star. For Mariners Blake Bevan. Ah. Starting pitcher 72 overall. Now we're gonna decline this trade, man. We gotta decline this trade. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. Okay. Kyle Seeger, third baseman for the Mariners, coming off a DL injury, fully healed. Alright, we're gonna automatically manage that. Alright, guys, we get ready to play some baseball in franchise mode. Again, MLB 2K. 13. We're going to be playing the White Sox. They're overall 84. We are overall 76. Let's do it. A great matchup coming up shortly. Oh, We've got going Felix Hernandez. Taking on the Chicago White Sox. Should be one to remember. So let's check out this presentation of this game. I thought this game as far as atmosphere, sounds, presentation, it's better than MLB John Danks. The Show. To bring to the mound, Not saying MLB The Show presentation is bad. I love Thank MLB The Show commentary. I love it all. But I think baseball. this game, for Live some reason, just the, the audience, the sound audience, the, the way it impacted the game the just sounded a whole lot better. With the White Sox. Let's check it out. Well, Steve, what's he got in store for Seattle hitters today? Well, when you face John Danks, you know you're facing a real competitor, a guy who's very aggressive with his fastball early in the counts, and then goes to the off-speed pitches late to get the swings and misses. Let's take a moment to look at the Mariners' lineup. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Franklin Gutierrez can change the game with this glove. You know, I didn't do the update rosters. I wasn't sure how to do those. This is a great throwing um, if you know how to do those, let me know in the comment section, but I'm going to try to research and get updated rosters Let's for the see next game. Going with the bat today. And Franklin Gutierrez to lead it off. He stepped up and gotten it done recently, going three for his last seven. And he's done everything. And we gotta get he used to the controls the in this game. Now. Him, always on base. Oh, That's one. a good pitch from Danks. It's in there. Last wow. time out a loss for the White Sox. I that was low. Moving now to even up this middle of three against the Mariners. Strike oh, two. right now down the middle. No balls, two strikes. Franklin Gutierrez will need to be careful. Cut a 91 miles an hour, one says. Hit in that shutout. When you run into a you pitcher, get up and strike out. Going for him, there's strikes. really nothing you can do. Taps this one foul to the Woo. right. Here's the pitch. And he can't oh, pull come the trigger. On. Franklin Gutierrez strikes out. Wow, this guy throwing strikes, yeah, two man. Strikes, that's exactly where the pitcher wants to put the ball. But as a hitter, you have to try to fight it off and make contact. Got to swing the bat, baby. <clears throat> we just got to get used to this game again. That's all. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. And uh, scouting those fielders, John. Well, Alexi Ramirez harkens back to me, the older days of shortstop. Wiry, thin, very agile, very athletic, can do a lot of different things, but he can hit for a lot of power, a lot of pop in that Yesterday bat, versus the White Sox, arm. he was on I mean, too. He has an absolute cannon of an arm, no matter if you hit it in the hole or, or behind second base in shallow center field, oh. he can make that spin and that unbelievable gun to first base. It's that bat underway, 1-0 after that first pitch missed. I went for the backdoor slider right there, but he laid off the pitch. Wow. Oh, come on. We're swinging late, baby. Swinging late. Oh, don't start ringing phone now, Megan. All right, here we go. Here we go. Strike Boy, oh. excellent movement to Very the late cutter, swing. and it's 1-2. And it goes foul. Oh, come on. We, we swung foul. early on that one. One and two. At the belt, Jones kicks, throws. Oh. Slider in there and gets him looking two down. 
Now, Kate Cam's going to show us a good look of this slider. That pitch certainly not lacking movement, John. Well, it's controlled movement, and that's why he's able to throw it so effectively to catch guys looking like he did in that at bat. So, with two outs in the inning, here's Jesus Montero. You know, I thought Jesus Montero was going to be great when he came up, he, when, he, when they traded for him from the Yankees, man. But he never worked out. Ball. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. He was a good go hitter, man. To that injury, Came Jerry. to the Mariners, didn't do anything. Very difficult ones there, and not much you can do. Sometimes it's just the happenstance of the game that can lead to injury. Ball Fastball two. just misses, and he falls behind two and zero. Oh. That was a hundred miles Steve, an hour. We're talking Woo. about the injury. So long as the play is a clean play. Even though you don't want to see it happen, at least you understand how it happened. Well, that's right. I mean, listen, sometimes the game just plays oh. itself out, and if you play hard, you do at times subject yourself to potential injury. Come on, baby, walk me. Walk me, baby, walk me. It's now 3-1, and one. Jesus Montero. You'll see if he gets the pitch to drive. This guy throwing 100 miles an hour. Last season, we catch no, one of those, did not man. have we any hits. Hit a home run. run at bat off Jones. That fastball oh. is in there. He lays off it. Now at 3-2. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. And on a full count, swung on, grounded towards the hole. You're out. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And out on the mound, we've got Felix Hernandez. He'll be Seattle's starter. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, Felix Hernandez, one of the most overpowering pitchers yeah, in all of baseball. To the inside the inside report a curveball that just drops off the table and a changeup that gets hitters to spin into the ground. And the there we go, baby. will be taken by Diazzo. The trend for him is not very good right now as he's just won for his last seven at bats. A tough trend for him as a leadoff guy. You need to get on base and set the table for your lineup. He's got to pick it up for his offense. Strike two, Strike two with that one. Strike now two. it's 0 and 2. Alejandro Deza will have to protect. That's a pretty nice pitch right there. Going with the fastball, forced him into that awkward swing. Hernandez gets set and delivers. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And the leadoff man's on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. Here's the offense from Robin Ventura. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Paul Canerco's been doing it for years and years, and that's what you love about him. You know when you pencil him in in the lineup, he's going to give you a consistent season, and he's going to give you great at-bats and be a great leader. You got a chance to check out the Mariners on the defense. John, uh, scouting anyone here? Well, no one knew where Dustin Ackley should play once he reached the big leagues. Should he be an outfielder, second base, maybe even move to first base? He's entrenched now at second base, and he's done a heck of a job with his footwork and with his ability to play that position on an everyday basis. Remember, Diaz is always a threat on the base pass. Hernandez gets set and oh. delivers, and it's taken outside trying to figure by out how to pitch, man. Last year, the average for him, 424 against the Mariners. Hernandez, too far outside. That's a ball. Trying to get the ground ball out, you throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. Ball. Oh, my. Is he Ooh. wild right now? That could be trouble. And so the defense unable to get it done. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came ball out of his ball. hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Yeah, learn how to pitch, and man. And that one is called ball four, so we get a walk and a base runner. I think he was just looking to expand the strike zone, see if he could get him to chase. He didn't take the bait. Let's check out Alex Rios' season last year. Third in triples, He's sixth in batting average slider. with runners in scoring position. And, of course, he got ball his one. base hits. He was ranked in the top 10 and hits in the league, getting the job done, finding a way to get on base. They better be careful, Gary, with him on second base. He can run, and he has the ability to read the pitcher and get a good jump as well. Ready with a 1-0. Oh. 
Ball two. And it's taken outside by Canerco for a ball. Had only one AB last year against uh, Felix Hernandez. Ball. And that's a ball. Now it's 3-0. and oh. And now Ooh. does Canerco get the swing? Well, you fall behind 3-0, and oh, and this is when the pitcher has to be careful. He just can't throw a cookie in there and expect the hitter to take it. Hernandez gets set and delivers. There is a swing there we go. liner. Ryan, double play. There's one. Got and it. That's two. A double Got play. it. How big was that double play? Well, the WPA graph gives us a pretty good idea. Got it. Double play, baby. Good play. Well, we've got a moment to look back to last year's Chicago White Sox. We've got two outs there. Let's get this out. Third Bowl and home run. run. Fourth in batting average with runners in scoring position. And offensively, scoring runs is the name of the game. And they got that done. Ranked in the top five in the league in scoring runs. It shows the ability in, to score in so many different ways. Here's one. Hit very well deep. And got the it. side's retired. Gutierrez the catch. Off the field he goes. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Still scoreless in Chicago. All right, let's get some runs, man. Let's get some hits. First. And it's Kendry Morales to lead us off. Top of third in the American League. Hit up the middle. Yes. And that's the first hit, hit for the Mariners in the game. Well, the way this inning is starting off right now, it looks like there's going to be some good production coming out. Three outs to go and already someone on base. Let's take a look at the American League rankings from last season and check out what the Seattle Mariners did. Ninth in triples, tenth in stolen bases, and, well, the home run numbers just weren't quite stacking up with some of the other clubs around, really showing that they had to manufacture Justice. runs and not get their offense from power. At the belt, Jones kicks, throws. Oh. Just Man, it looked like he's going low. Well, he really wanted that when a fastball just below the knees, and he didn't get the call. That was 100 miles an hour also. Oh, and he takes off for second. Strike one! Run! And his throw, he is out. Great throw. Well, you see how their running animations are slow. One, Good one camera on the work, though. Sharp bike to that slider, one and two. What a great pitch right there by the pitcher. The hitter gets out there, he's thinking it's a fastball, and all of a sudden he sees that movement on that slider, and he hesitates for just that brief second to swing late. The one-two pitch. You're fastball up. got him looking, two down. Wow. He must have been looking off speed, which I don't understand. With two strikes, you have to look fastball and adjust to the off-speed pitch. Either way, he's walking back to the dugout. Seeger's in the batter's box. Had just one A.B. last year for him against Jones. Strike one, Strike one oh, to Seager. come on. At the belt, Jones kicks. There's a swing, a drive down the left field line. It's towards the corner. Ah, uh, it's not coming back. Goodbye, home run. The Goodbye Mariners baseball. getting on the board with a long Ooh. ball. <laughs> and the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a one nothing lead. Let's go. <laughs> that solo shot makes an impact on their chances at victory. The win expectancy graph shows us. Uh, Gary looked he went like down he and got that baby on and that, that change pitch. Up. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after. Them. You know, for Seattle, they've been plugging away in this game and have taken an important lead. We'll watch and see if they can keep the offense moving. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Straight fastball two. swung on, can't make contact. And oh, that fastball is quick. 
Well, these guys, I guess, with the big fly, the inning they were hoping for, you got to love the instant production, John. Instant production and great momentum early here. Now it's time for the You're pitching out. to step Ooh, up and bear down. It. Exactly, John. Another mistake like that one, and they are going to dig themselves into an even deeper hole. A strike here in the second, getting a run across. The Mariners lead it. And it'll be Viciato batting. Hernandez gets set and delivers. Ball. Fastball too low. One and oh. Now the one oh pitch. A swing line to left center. Oh, good hit. That one gets through. Cut it off. There you hit. go. Get it in. That will bring Jeff Keppinger to the plate. Take a look at what's coming up for the Mariners. One game left for the White Sox. That's tomorrow. They'll kick off a series with the Houston Astros. That's a division rivalry. That's a three game series. And then they will return home to host the Rangers in that bat of Adrian Beltre. So quite a few home games. They'll be looking to capitalize. Woo. Starts him off with a strike on the inside part of the plate. Get the hang over here a little bit. Here it comes. That ball is swung on and hit. Gutierrez is ready to field. One away. Boy, oh, he got a pitch to hit right there, but just a little bit out in front. Sends an easy fly ball to center field for the out. Gemini is at the plate. Well, you knew it was just a matter of time before Felix Hernandez would throw a perfect game. And he did it. Happened last year from in August with a 1 0 victory for the Mariners. Here's the pitch. He swings now and really hit that. Gutierrez. That's two gone. And that will hold him at first. And we were talking about the perfect game for Felix Hernandez. He's flirted with him in the past. Last season finally got it. Nobody could catch up to him as he, he mowed down the Rays. 12 Ks in that game, John. Well, the Rays are prone to get no hit and perfect. There's a swing and a smash. And well, there's the third busy out there in center field. It's a good innings worth of work to add to the others. Felix Hernandez. He emerges from the first two innings on scape. And the Mariners coming up next. A crisp afternoon maybe uh, maybe an understatement there but in any case this time of year you expect it Ackley is in the batter's box right one. first pitch fastball 0 and one man they got a, a nice catch one of those fastballs right that was already put that change outside up. corner he hit the spot at the belt Jones kicks throws oh. a swing and a foul off to the right side And that one swung on and missed by Dustin Ackley. Now he helped him right there with two strikes. He gets the slider, but he chases it out of the zone for strike three. Season is shaping up now. We'll look at the White Sox. They finish up the Seattle series tomorrow. After that, they're going to meet up with Ian Desmond as they go on the road to take on the Nationals. Oh! Great series there. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then one of the game's great hitters, they'll face on the road in Cleveland as Dribble Cabrera. That's oh, quite a few road games coming up, and that's always challenging. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Well, I like the pitching approach right there in that AB. Looked in See, great it looks command low, the entire time. One, two, three. Usually when it looks low, it's a strike. So like, uh, you ever it's hard a really to tell. Good read on any of the pitches. Oh, and that's always a possibility. So many factors, but he hopefully took away a tidbit of knowledge to help him next time. Gutierrez at the plate. Matchup, <clears throat> 282 lifetime against the White Sox. First pitch of the at-bat now. Swings, hits this one in the air down the right field line. And it's going to be done. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No runs, no hits. No one left on. Mariners won.
the White Sox nothing. End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. And an enjoyable afternoon. Light clouds overhead. And Beckham's in the box. He's our first batter, home half of the third inning. Hernandez gets set and delivers. Ball nice mark. reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. Here's the 1 0. Oh. And he swings and hits this one foul. Good downward action there, and it's one and two. Well, anytime you see a guy that's trying to swing for the fences or has the ability to swing for the fences, you throw him that breaking ball right there, you can fool him. Big swing, he comes up empty. One two pitch coming. A line drive towards short. Oh, good catch. That's one away. His team set the tone in offense last year. Let's take a look. The Rangers, number one, the Yankees, second, in third, the Angels. White Sox fourth, and it's the Red Sox number five. Well, the thing you ask your team, the manager and the hitting coach is, look, guys, get us some runs. This team does it as good as anyone in the league last year, and they just love to get on base, make things happen with speed, but they can also take it out of the ballpark. Towards the middle, Ryan. And that retires Diaz. It's a nice throw by the shortstop, and, and the key to that is having good feet. When an infielder makes bad throws, it's not because of his arm, it's because of his feet. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. Hitting just 217 lifetime off Felix Hernandez. Well, and the scales are leaning toward the pitcher in this matchup, so it goes through the hitter's mind. He knows he struggles against him. And the pitch taken for a strike by Rios. That fastball just froze him on the inside corner. Now we're going to see where he goes. Look for something okay. soft, possibly I'm away. Right now. And only a couple strikes to go here. Here's a fly ball. Could be it. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. A tough loss here for this crowd today. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to play three, kind of uh, three inning games. From the visiting team. Now look at our saying I'll make the them game. Standout performance deserving of the recognition today. Felix Hernandez. The he got play it all right done there. on the mound today. Well, any starting pitcher will tell you that the last thing he wants to ever have to do is to turn the game yeah, over. Woody Harris had a lot of work in center field. Guys, let me know in the comment exactly section what you thought today. about this game. He all his pitches if you ever played this game before, again, it's MLB 2K13. I think strong. this was the latest game they made before they stopped, before they canceled the series. Well, you win, whether it's 1 or 10. This was the slimmest of margins, though. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to say thanks for watching. And, and as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next Great video. For baseball here at thanks 2K for watching. Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball.